So guys, I'm just completing uh, Croatia tier 4. I did not have a Croatia lineup earlier. I went ahead and bought a few players today uh, for the Croatia lineup. I only had few players. I was missing a few players and I just uh, went ahead and uh, bought the players I needed from the market. It's nice one, but I'm not going to use him because I already got an anti rated uh, Croatia team. Mostly thanks to the amazing market where prices have fallen a lot. This is the team guys. Uh, you can see some of these guys are trained up and some of these I have bought and I haven't trained at all. You can see that I just bought him uh, when I started tier 1. He was available, I don't know, he's available like 500k or something, 500k, 600k in between that he's available and he can do the rainbow and everything and that is so helpful in doing uh, the earlier tiers, mostly in auto player, like I just start the game and uh, score a couple of goals, sometimes three and then auto play the rest, it helps save at a lot of time and then get me uh, the experience points and the progress in the world level and all I need it. Again, then uh, after a couple of tiers, uh, when I had bought, uh, I thought I wanted more time to watch uh, the real World Cup, and also I went ahead bought these players: um, Brozovic, uh, Rebic, um, Badeli, I think. Badelj. Okay, I cannot pronounce it properly, but some of these high-rated players I bought, I I got a lucky pull uh, called Luka. I pulled him. That was nice. 88 rated and again I bought uh, Loven as well 87 rated so I bought I had uh, I think one two three four five players I bought uh, trained up uh, some others a bit uh, those I trained up they will be XP for other campaigns or for my main team they'll be XP and the players that I just bought that one, two, three, four, uh, five players plus the core Luca that I pulled, uh, that'd be six. All six of those I would sell uh, once I'm done with tier five of Croatia and I get that Luca Modric, the master. Once I get that, I will sell uh, the Croatian or uh, this uh, six Croatian players who are high base. If you guys do like this, it's very easy even the campaign gets uh, so easy like uh, we can auto play most of the most part of the campaign as well do it this way and thanks to the grind guys i'm closing in on thousand points uh, which is huge i'm at 994 points so again i'll get another elite then again more elites and more uh, boost and everything which is always uh, very helpful and the uh, round of 16 version of world uh, stage players are also out 92 base players and all 31 rated that's a bit disappointing i got some uh, other very nice pulls i pulled a gareth bale 88 rated a uh, few other 88 rated pulls uh, by grinding the campaign and thanks to grinding the campaign so much, I can uh, almost every day I can easily open these 24 point packs and sometimes I even open the medium ones uh, which are also equally good. The low uh, small ones are not that good but the medium ones and the high ones are uh, very useful. I know 50 boost uh, doesn't seem that big uh, in this point in time but considering I'm getting that 50 at least the 50 every day that's uh, that's proving very helpful and this is my progress in uh, well stage I did these two that's a 250 skill boost welcome boost and uh, 500k coins and uh, again next one I'll get uh, another 200 uh, another 125 boost and the next one that will record 50 points uh, I could get this players they look uh, really good i would say i mean they have brought back something like a wings which is uh, kind of cool and then there are rank items uh, these are uh, i think these are for uh players like smoothie i'm never i mean i have fun it's hard enough ranking up players in the main game uh, rank ups in uh rank ups in the welcome mode that's uh, that's not something i would even think about 
think there has been some uh, small changes in the card art as well on uh, the man of the match uh, card at 100 level looks uh, pretty cool outside and Croatia is not the only one uh, got uh, Korea Republic 92 most of this place I already had I haven't bought anybody uh, big yet for Korea Republic but I'm uh, looking for buying maybe a couple of players or I will train up some uh, so that I can reach 95 in this one as well and England is 96 this will be my main squad haven't started grinding the prestige mode yet I know it sounds kind of crazy but I want to grind the campaigns first then I will uh, look towards the prestige mode this is my French team uh, this is also 95 at the moment I will do as many 95s as possible I haven't reached uh, much high in the prestige mode. I uh, reached till uh, tier 6, I think. Okay, I think I have one more win. I'll be able to get a self scale boost. Uh, actually, I haven't been playing at all. I was uh, fully into grinding the campaign. Again, here I need a couple more wins. Then I'll get the final scale boost. Uh, very useful rewards, I would say. But again, I am um, I'm still building my squad. Once I'm once I'm confident, once I feel it's enough, that's when I will go ahead and get it. Uh, I only got uh, some very few ones. I think the base gold plus uh, plus twenty five. Uh, some uh, some of you are asking me about my uh, prestige progress. So you can see the highest is uh, 75, which is uh, very disappointing. And uh, there are uh, three elite players. Maybe 380. Who knows uh, with my back like these days. But we have pulled a couple of masters, which has been very good for us. 282 and this is going to be at a 3 not bad I mean uh, better than what I thought I was thinking ult would be 80 but at a 2 uh, 283 that's not bad at all so next ones uh, coins all these coins ones uh, look good coins kill boost I uh, wouldn't grind 25 for that though this one uh I wouldn't try to get any of these players, but uh, the skill boosts and the coins uh, look very good. And this is where I would, I think, the real grind starts. Uh, reach this level. I will, I think, I will play for campaigns for two or three days more, and then I will start the real grind in the prestige event. And if you're buying players for uh, playing tier four and five and all, then remember, guys, three at the back. That's uh, a lot, lot better than having four at the back. I tried, uh, tried with four at the back with uh, Croatia, with France, with every team I'm trying. I'm trying both uh, to see if there are any changes in the gameplay and all. But it's uh, they just uh, they just go through and score the goal with uh, four at the back. So three at the backs a lot more solid uh, comparatively. And skill boost guys skill boosts are so important you can see the reason I'm able to do all uh, the 95 squads easily is because of these guys um, I've got a good amount of skill boost or um, everything is 8 at the moment um, hope, I'm hoping to reach 9 that would be that would make it even easier playing one tier playing one tier 5 alone gives like 800k coins and then Plenty of well tokens, well cup items, players. Uh, this huge guys. That's uh, what players are there. That's uh, for twenty. Uh, that's twenty. At least twenty players, and a master that we can use in the exchange, SBZ, and then sell for say five million. So guys, it's very wise and very useful to buy players. Some. Um, I would suggest 87 or above players who are um, who, whom you could find cheap and then do the tier T5 guys. Tier 5 is uh, very good especially the, considering the fact that we can do the master exchange SBZ and then 
get coins through that i'll definitely be doing that i did it earlier now i got a couple of masters already waiting uh, in a in some time uh, okay i say in an hour uh, the reset happens and then i can again do the ex uh, master exchange sbz and that's uh, that'll be really helpful all of that uh, good things and then there is one uh, very bad change also so you can see this sbc the 100 overall one we had an option to there was sub the skill boost that was adding earlier on uh, they changed it which is a really really bad change midway because many of us uh, chose 352 formation we have spent millions changing the 352 formation for this only and without this it makes it impossible to get that one and as again the 25 point sbc which was uh, relatively easier and which we were able to do as many times as we needed that's again uh, limited to a maximum of three which means the free to play cannot really get everything is maximum of three and then now this looks to be the only one that uh, we may be able to get uh, 90 base beam which again takes a lot of coins and all and i'm seriously disappointed that they change uh, they start an event and they change uh, this much in the middle of the event uh, which is uh, it's depress it's so sad i would say like we cannot trust them and have a strategy even my strategy same as uh, most of yours would have been based on how the event looks like how it is how they promised us things would be and then they changed it all how uh, this is very bad but uh, i still believe we can by grinding uh doing the campaigns and trading by using those masters in exchange sbs and selling them we can make up for the coins that we lose uh, through this way thanks for watching guys bye bye hope you guys have a good day